say no fun to be genius all of time. Much more better to be good old Dinobot Grimlock. Okay, here is my video review for the New Age 44 Ymir. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But basically, this is the Mini Masterpiece Legends version of Grimlock. So here's an image of the front of the box showing you get a, an a, the accessory from that one episode. Uh, I think the end of the episode of that Computron or something where he's playing with the fish or something. I don't remember. Um, and then here's an image of the back of the box with the scene from the uh, another episode. Let's see, here's uh, the side of the box, the product image. The other side, same thing. The top of the box and the bottom. It's a nice uh, packaging design. It's too bad I don't uh, have room to save all my boxes anymore, so that uh, is going away. So now on to the figure. So I put on the Autobot stickers. And so now you can see, let's get up a little close here. Here is Grimlock. And uh, this is really a nice figure. So here he is from the side view, the back view, the little peg hole where you can put in his gun if you want. Uh, the other side, the front, the bottom, so really nice. Here's a close-up of the head, jaw does open, which does have uh, an accessory here where you can attach the, this flame piece, which is really nice. And I think I'll just show it here. I didn't do this yet, but I know there's a way you can open up this head and you can see, you can swivel this. So he has red eyes, kind of like that gimmick from uh, the official Grimlock, the first, uh, yeah, the official Takata Grimlock. So that's nice, but I actually like the cartoon accurate, so I like the blue eyes. So his head does turn, or his neck is nice. His arms do go up and down. They do ex extend out. There's another joint for his elbow and one for a ball joint for his hand. So some nice articulation. And the legs, they do go up and down. Um, they can go out. And something I notice is weird is uh, I don't know why this bends backwards. I mean, you can rotate it this way, but then this is exposed, and that's not even the right way his foot should be. So it's uh, kind of unfortunate you can't bend his legs back. So it's a little limited articulation in the 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 dinosaur legs. So his feet just go up and down and this is nice. His tail does have some nice uh, articulation and uh, I think that's pretty much it in dinosaur mode. So now I'm gonna do a transformation Okay, so let's see. Obviously you wanna get that head out, but it's easier if you split his uh, chest in half, and then you can uh, bring his head back. And I think this is up to you if you wanna rotate the head 180 or not. 
I think I will rotate it 180 since I did that. And then, let's see, you want to extend these arms out on these uh, hinges here so that you get some access room to get to these legs. And here you got to untab it, just basically lift it up. And then you're going to split this, the legs and also the tail. Okay, once you got that, you kind of spread them apart and you kind of get it in a T shape here where you can uh, then bring the leg, the tail leg together so you can rotate this 180 and then bring the leg up. And then here is where you're going to have to tuck in this tail piece in. You bring it in, but then you got to turn it here also so it's going to fit in. And this one has the tip of the tail, so that just folds right in. And then here you got to just fold that in and bring it all in. And there you got the leg. Same thing on the other side, bring it to this T shape, bring the tail up so you can rotate this uh, 180 and bring the leg up, bring this uh, down and you're going to have to turn this so it goes in and then now this foot just fold that in and bring it in. And you got the leg done. Now you're going to have to extend this. I found it's easier just to push that up that way and then bring these arms back up. And let's adjust all this back piece. Get a look here. You see it's on a double hinge, so it just folds up in there. There's a peg hole, so you tab that in. This head comes down. And then now we just got to get these arms. So you can see, you split these open. And then uh, you're going to have to rotate it 180. So the triangle is now on the inside bring down his hand and then close it. Same thing on the other side. Split it open on both sides. Turn it 180. Bring the hand down and then close it. And there you go. You got Grimlock in his robot mode and you just adjust his wings and arms to however you want it to look and there you go and then he looks a little barehanded here so that's where you need his accessories so he comes with his uh, gun and it's uh, his iconic uh, Grimlock gun the double barrels so you can just uh, attach that to his hand and he comes with the sword which you can separate that flame piece so it, this piece you can attach to his dinosaur mouth so he's blowing flames I think that's really cool really like this transparent uh, plastic too that they painted orange to like a lighter orange so that's really nice and there you go. And then he does have this uh, fish accessory, which I guess it's nice to have, but uh, I don't use these things, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but, you know, those people who make these videos and stuff, I'm sure this would come in handy replicating that episode. 
just pointing out he does come with uh, his hands. I already took out his two fists and attached it. But he comes with other hands so you can have them op with open hands if you want. So here is Grimlock in robot mode. And let's see. Articulation, they go up and down. On their shoulders, they spread out. They can rotate up and down. The arms swivel and they do bend. Uh, so that's nice. His legs, they do go out. They can lift up. There is a, a waist flap here. His knee bends and there is some ankle rocker and you do get uh, some up but not really a down so that's really cool and then just looking at him from the back view really nice um, it's a really nice figure and now since this is by new age uh, you want to see him next to their Optimus. So this, I'm telling you my opinion, I think uh, Optimus is a little too small or Grimlock's too big, however you want to look at it. Um, and I'm actually okay with that because when I compare it with uh, Magic Square, this proportion looks a little bit more accurate to me. And uh, so that makes me a little happy that I did get this. And uh, another comparison is with the Mech Fans toys. And now this is where uh, I'm starting to get a little different feelings, kind of like Bobby Skullface. Like, um, even though this is more cartoon accurate with this yellow, that um, uh, in my opinion I kind of don't like, but I'm getting used to because they did actually put a little orange so it's not bright yellow. I actually like this uh, gold color especially with this transparent uh, tinted cover that this does not have. So, um, and this is not cartoon accurate. And this one obviously has a lot more detail. So this is where I'm kind of having similar uh, feelings like Bobby Skullface where, you know, even though this is cartoon accurate, the aesthetics of this one seems uh, much more appealing to me <laughs> so I just wanted to point that out and I don't have the DX9 one uh, I don't want to get into all of that but basically I didn't get it and that's okay because eventually they're gonna make uh, better versions of it which I think this is what this is and uh, there's no comparison with my chug or masterpiece because I'm just showing off the uh, legend scale so again I think I'm gonna keep it like this maybe he will go with my magic square collection because I like that scale and they do look really nice together but this one with the new age uh, well you decide for yourself what looks better I actually think this looks better and more cartoon accurate. So that's it. That's my review. And if I'm going to give recommendations, uh, this is a highly recommended figure because uh, this is a really nice figure, easy to transform. Uh, it looks really nice and can't wait for New Age to make the rest of the Dinobots. Optimus Prime, can you forgive me? Grimlock was jealous of you. 
The meteorite menace is gone. Let's roll for home.